Welcome back to my channel guys. We are doing another mountain bike trail review. We're at Harrison Bay State Park today. We're gonna go ride their Harrison Bay Loop. Used to ride a ton as a kid, loved it. It was my favorite mountain biking trail. I, was, I lived about eight miles away from it, so I'd ride down here on the weekends and ride around it and a couple times and ride home, wear myself out. Uh, 15 years later, uh, we'll see what the trail looks like. Back when I used to ride, it was known for being muddy, even when it hadn't rained in like a month. Uh, we're gonna see what it looks like now today. I know we haven't had rain in about a week and a half, so let's jump to it. Let's see what it looks like. Today we're doing Bay Point Loop Trail in Harrison Bay State Park in Harrison, Tennessee. The trail is 4.28 miles long and has an elevation change of only 115 feet. Uh, you're not going to find any real features on this trail. There's no jumps, no moguls, no berms. Uh, it's got a couple little wooden bridges to cross over, but that's about it. The general consensus is it's a beginner level trail. If you go on Trail Forks, it does have a beginner rating as a green trail. While over the trail, the conditions were variable. There was the usual mud spots and of course a little bit of overgrowth as well. Overall, definitely a beginner trail. If you're comfortable, you've already done Hercules Trail, you've done Johnson Woods, I'd say this is the next one. Uh, take the family there. Do the counterclockwise direction. If you're trying to find the uh, trail, go past the marina at Harrison Bay State Park, go up on the hill where the boats are parking, it's back in the corner back there. Let's go for a ride and take a look at it. Alright. Welcome back, guys. We're doing Bay Point Loop Trail out here in Harrison, Tennessee. So a little history on this trail. Uh, used to ride this trail a lot as a kid. I love going clockwise, but we're gonna go counterclockwise today. Every time I ride it, it seems to be 8 billion people going the other direction. So, it's a multi directional trail. Just be mindful. It's been about a week and a half since it rained here. This trail is notorious, there you go, right there, for being muddy. So, I figured with a, about a week and a half of rain, We'll give it a shot and see how she looks. I love this trail because it borders the water the whole way almost. It's just, from what I used to ride though, it's gotten real ruddy now. As you can see, woo, right there. Oh, lots of roots. So, Again, this all used to be nice and smooth. Whew. So as you can see, yep, look at all that mud. So as you can see, still tons of mud. And it hasn't rained here in a while. I'm actually kicking up dust behind me. So I asked for some feedback from some people that looked at some of my videos. Oh, lots of mud. And they asked for what's beside me on the trails too. So, ow, son of a gun. Log well, just kept and got me. So, going forward, if there's a drop off or a cliff beside me, I'm gonna let you know. So, one thing, there's a cut through right there by the way. One thing I don't like about this trail are, woo! One thing I wish, there's nobody that takes care of this trail. Some Boy Scouts did some work on it a couple years ago, and we'll see those features here in a minute. But there's no maintenance on it at all. So it deteriorates got some spots that it's got some erosion problems that if they put just a little bridge there oh a nice little drop off beside me it drops off right in the lake as you can see here that's a little viewing spot nice sobo but we're gonna keep going but what I was saying is there's spots with some serious mud that big root Ooh. 
that if they just put a little bridge, it would stop the erosion and probably be a great spot. But again, nobody maintains this trail like they do their trails around here. Oh, I love that water. Big roots everywhere. Oh, big root. working a lot out here with the storm damage. A lot of loose gravel here. suspension lots of down trees recently oh bikers how's it going so that little downhill spot is the reason we're going this direction today coming the other way it's so washed out at my skill level, I can't climb it. I had to walk that. It's not a steep incline. It's like doing steps though. Bikers, how's it going? So everybody seems to be going the same way we are. This trail really isn't built for mountain bikers. It's uh, it's more for hiking. It's relatively flat. There aren't any real climbs on it. Um, I'm sure my elevation change map will show you later, but it's, it's pretty darn flat. So my heavy breathing is because I want to go fast. Lots of water, so much water. Uh, here's a drop off about Three feet in the water. But again, we're not worried about it. So those features on this trail, there really aren't any. I mean, there's no berms, there's no moguls, there's no jumps. There's some bridges across over. Right? There's High 58 off in the distance. We're out in the uh, point. Dang. Dang it, we're falling on the water. Hard turn left here if you haven't seen it. Water right there off to your right. So if you want to go off trail, you can go 
off. You'll see some wildlife. There's deer. There's ticks. Tons of squirrels. We, I know you guys are all experts on the Geico squirrels by now. I don't recall there being any really blind corners anywhere. I know, bad change, I'm sorry. Tons of squirrels. Hard left, and a little overlook of your board, or tire. We've already gone over a mile. It doesn't seem like it. Or if you're watching, it probably seems like it. Should be coming up to our first bridge here soon. Or I call it a bridge, it's a murky marsh overpass. Again, we're to my left is a slight hill climb, which is just normal for contours. To my right, it's just beautiful water. If you're a fisherman, you can walk this trail and fish. Lots of great spots. And now we're getting to the muddy section again. Scrolls everywhere around me. So this is all still muddy. Here's our bridge. This whole section for the next maybe half a mile. I wish this bridge like this. It just retains mud year round. There's another cut through right there. We need more of these on the trail. Especially through this section right here. There's another one that somebody's done that I think this is a Boy Scout project. Thank you, whoever you were. But all this, you can see it's kind of dried up. It's still muddy though. I won't go through this mud. Looks like a tree. So, again, week and a half, no rain, and all that's still mud. We've had some high heat too. Temperature's about 94, 95. My car says 100. More mud. I always joke you could have a drought and this thing would still be muddy. Oof.
I'm like Vince Van Gogh out here. They're watching Poetry in Motion. But at any second, my ear could come off these branches. So again, nothing hard on climbs. I'm only tired because I've had it in hard gear the whole time. I want speed. Not a lot of flow in this trail. Again, it's not a mountain biking trail. It's more of a sightseeing family tour. Beginner trail? Absolutely. Would I go here first? Probably not. It's like putting me on a EMX track like we did last time. Can I ride it? Sure. Should I? Uh, well, no. So, this bike I just bought, well, I say I just bought, I've had it now for two months. Um, my first ride on it was this trail. So, I'm gonna call this an off-road river walk. If you get a chance to do river walk downtown, that's a perfect pavement trail for anybody. I heard somebody behind me. River walk downtown's flat. No big hills like this. It's a great place to get used to riding your bike. I'd probably take somebody on this trail next. As far as, well, Johnson Woods. I'd take him Johnson Woods first for, all, for mountain biking. And then I'd take him here. Because I still think this is easier than Black Forest. Black Forest is better maintained. It's a lot smoother, but it's got big hill climbs. Whereas this one, it's flat. And I think it's perfect. My wife hates this trail. Um, we tried to do this trail the first time we went mountain biking a couple months ago when COVID started. We had two bikes in the garage, hers and her ex's. And she said, let's go ride. I said, sure. Hard left. Lots of water right there. Um, tried to bike in the street. Did awful with it. When I say awful, I just hated riding. I couldn't ride it. And that doesn't make any sense to you hearing that. But if you're watching me ride this one, as soon as I picked it up, I had no problem. But. They came out here, we went four tenths of a mile. The handlebar came off, I popped my jaw on the stem, I was not happy. So, I just couldn't ride it. It hurt the ride, hurt my legs. So, we, we left, went home. She had five ticks on her in four tenths of a mile. So she hates ticks. And she hates this trail because of that. But, I'm gonna try and talk her to come back out here. She doesn't like all the mud either. Insert disclaimer, don't know forecast that day. So, next day went to the bike shop.
out to East Ridge Bicycles. They don't sponsor me, but they have uh, they spent a couple hours with me and her looking at bikes, explaining bikes. We brought them the bike I rode. To put it politely, the guy said, donate to a kid. And it was an adult bike. No suspension, too. No runner. Two bell. Hey, coming. Oops, sorry. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. Your pace is better than mine. <laughs> she had to bring my looks into it. A little bit of mud there. <laughs> well, I got that new bell thinking it would uh, help for that. Apparently, I'm just creepy. For those of you that actually know me, we know I'm creepy. <laughs> this is where I broke down last time, actually. Oh, there's all the mud. Gotta go squirrel. We're gonna go to this side. <laughs> My feelings are kind of hurt. That was a good jump, though. I am Travis. At least she didn't scream and run faster. <laughs> Back some gravel. Again, another scout project. Thank you to whoever troop that was. You can see my right where it's been worn out. We need more of those. mud more squirrels Guys, we're almost at the beginning. Here's the split. We're heading back. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Great beginner trail. Take your family out. Take them for a ride. We'll see you on the next one. the review of the trail i hope you liked it if you liked the video subscribe to my channel you can watch all their crazy stuff i do whether it's jokes or drone flying or even more mountain biking trails and we'll see you in the next one